Poseidon is one of two mock water coasters at Europa Park, and I think it's the better of the two. This is one of the longest water coasters in the world, and it has some decent theming too. Find out everything you need to know about Poseidon in this review. Mock debuted their first water coaster in 1998 with Journey to Atlantis at SeaWorld Orlando. The ride is very well themed, but from a technical perspective, it includes an impressive ride system combining floating and coasting sections. You have an impressive drop and fall display, but the finale features a twisted plunge and you'd never get that on a traditional flume. Because of the success of the prototype, Mach built their very own water coaster at Europa Park, which basically serves as their show floor. This one wouldn't feature a dark ride section. Instead, it would just showcase the ride system. But in true Europa fashion, the ride is themed. The ride is the centerpiece of the grease section of the park, the water is bright and blue, then the station is themed to look like the Acropolis, and there are some nice facades leading up to the first lift hill. Poseidon usually has a manageable weight, hovering around the 15-20 to 20 minute mark most days. Each boat only holds up to 8 riders, but because of how many are cycling at once, this ride has a theoretical hourly capacity approaching 1,700 riders. That is outstanding, so the line never stops moving. The two abreast rows are more comfortable than your typical log flume, because everyone has their own designated seat, and you're restrained by a lap bar. Once checked, you float through the best looking part of the ride. You pass an abandoned town and some ship wreckage. Their size really envelops you in the area. You then ascend the larger of the two lift hills. The first is 76 feet or 23 meters tall. The first section feels like one extended helix. I feel like the intent was to show how the water coaster system could handle bank turns. You start with this gentle U-turn into a mid-course brake run. Then you rumble down this large twisting drop. And I use rumble deliberately. The first section of the ride has a shake to it. This drop is followed by an uphill twist that actually pulls some decent positive Gs. This leads into yet another mid-course brake run, which is understandable given this coaster cycles so many vehicles. You then rumble down another twisting drop and bank upwards into the first splashdown which doesn't get you too wet. Most of the first coaster section is rather forgettable outside of that forceful ascent, unfortunately, but Poseidon does save the best for last. After an extended floating section, you reach the second lift hill, which stands 66 feet or 20 meters tall. At the top, you round a slow turn and then you head down the final plunge. And this drop just has bizarre profiling. Just take a look at it from the side. The drop starts with a tight crest and then it straightens out briefly at a shallow angle. It then travels over a larger crest to reach its max angle. I don't know why this angling and profiling was selected, but it creates a weird experience on ride. You get no airtime at the start of the drop, but you do get a weak pop of airtime halfway down the drop. You then dive into a rock tunnel and zip over a bunny hill. Despite the speed at which you take this hill, you don't really get any airtime. You then hit the final splashdown, which is a little wetter than the first one, especially if you have a heavier boat. You then float past some rocks and adorable seagull animatronics on your way back to the station. This ends the 2,743 foot or 836 meter long experience. So what would I rate Poseidon? I would give this water coaster a 5 out of 10. I like the visuals around the attraction and the free floating sections. And the final drop, while weird, is quite good but the first coaster section really drops the ball in my opinion. It's mostly dull and gimmicky, and that shake doesn't help either. I think I prefer the feel of a traditional log flume, but this ride did showcase what the water coaster ride system was capable of for future installations with Mach. So those are my thoughts on Poseidon at Europa Park. What are your thoughts on this water coaster? Do you enjoy this attraction? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.